Looking for a way to bring more visitors to your site with minimal effort? What if I told you you can make your WordPress website more accessible to visitors from all over the world in just a few minutes? By the end of this video, your website will be ready to welcome international visitors in their preferred language. But stay till the very end for the true secret of ranking in multiple languages. Let's dive in. To add multiple languages to your site, you'll need a Translate Press license. You can add one new language to your site with the free version of the plugin, but today I want to show you how to add as many as you want. Start by heading over to the Translate Press website and picking the license that works best for you. Once you've purchased it, log into your account and download both plugin files, the main free plugin and the pro plugin. Next, go to your WordPress dashboard, navigate to plugins, add new, upload plugin and upload the main plugin first. Click install now and then activate. Do the same for the pro version and activate it as well. Once the plugin is up and running on your site, you're already set to add new languages. Go to Settings, Translate Press, and stay in the General section. Here you'll see your default language. For me, it's English. Next, pick the languages you want to add. For example, let's add Spanish for your Latin American audience, Hindi for visitors from India, and German for your European customers. And the list goes on. You get the idea. The Premium plugin lets you add unlimited languages to your site, so the sky is the limit. Now, from the Language Switcher tab, enable the floating language switcher so your visitors have a way to choose their preferred language on the front end. I have a separate video on how to create a fully custom switcher if you want to go deeper into this subject, but you can always just choose a preset. Great, now your site is ready for translation. Assuming you want this done as fast as possible, I'll start by showing you how to use Translate Press AI for instant translations. Simply go to Automatic Translation and enable the Automatic Translation feature. Here, in order to access the AI word quota included with your plan, you'll need to first activate your license. There, you can now see how many words will be automatically translated once you hit Save Changes. If you run out of these, you can always get more from your Translate Press account page. Now hit Save Changes and your content will be translated instantly. Let's check it out. Told you it would be fast, right? We've translated the page content, buttons, the menu, submenus, and all other pages too. Give it a proofread, and if you're happy with your translations, you're pretty much done. However, of course Translate Press lets you go even more granular if you prefer. Let's say something doesn't quite sound like you want it to, or you would simply prefer another word in a specific place. At any time, you can simply manually edit any translations from the visual editor. From the front end of your site, click Translate page in the admin bar. This opens the visual translation editor, where you can click on any piece of content and edit the translations for pretty much anything. Headers, paragraphs, buttons, even dynamic WooCommerce content. Now, in case you run out of AI words and want to continue the manual way, this is where you can add new translations as well. You can switch your view to the language you want to work with to easily identify what's not translated. And now it's really as simple as clicking, typing and saving. And don't worry, images, widgets and even pop-ups are included. If you can see it, you can translate it. Just don't forget to hit save after each translated string. Now, at the beginning of this video, I promised you the secret ingredient. So here it is. Many people, when translating their site, completely forget about SEO. And doing your SEO in the additional languages is just as important as doing it in your original language. Multilingual SEO is the one crucial step for visitors to find your website when they search in their preferred language. To review or add translations for the SEO elements on your page, you'll have to open the Strings drop-down and locate the Slugs and Meta Information sections. Here you'll be able to select things like the page URL slug, SEO titles or meta description. This is what Google will show to your international users in their localized searches. And that's it! Now your WordPress website supports multiple languages and is ready to be found and receive global visits. Let me know in the comments how many new visitors you got from the countries you targeted with your new languages. 
If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to hit like, subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more multilingual WordPress tips. Also, check out my other videos on translating WooCommerce stores and Elementor site for more advanced tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.